Well, the mayor will want, so the president rather, will once again be talking boosters this afternoon. Early data suggesting that most of us might need a booster shot eight months after your first shot. Now, that could happen sometime in mid to late September. Healthcare workers and the elderly first, Pfizer and Moderna rolling out new data. There are data emerging from Israel, from the United Kingdom, that look as if um, the immunity may be waning, but it's unclear what is waning. I would hope that their guidance is nuanced enough so that people can choose. Now, there is also this. Remember Tuskegee? Well, now there's an ad campaign that has been designed to separate fact from fiction when it comes to those infamous syphilis experiments. Dr. Reed Tuxin is a founding member of the Black Coalition Against COVID, and he is also the former health commissioner in Washington, D.C. Omar Neal is the former mayor of Tuskegee, Alabama, and both of them join us now. And, and Dr. Tuxin, I'll begin with you. How do we put Tuskegee to rest? Because there are still people out there using it as a reason not to get their shots, despite the fact that we got three black folk right now side by side saying, stop it. Yeah, I think the way we do it by letting the descendants uh, of the uh, of this of this uh, horrible experiment uh, speak to the public. And that's what we're trying to do with this campaign by the Ad Council and Black Coalition Against COVID and Joy Collective. We're letting uh, these descendants have their voice. And what they're saying unequivocally, Dale, is that uh, the, the tragedy of that syphilis study was that black men were denied access to the treatment that would have saved them lives. It makes no sense, and they are very clear about it, for black people today to deny themselves, their own selves, access to the vaccine that will save their lives. So getting their story out and their narratives is the first way we need to get this, uh, get over this terrible uh, experience and the consequences that we are still suffering from it. So, Mayor, let's go right to it. Uh, your uncle was part of the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. What do you say to those who say, but what about the Tuskegee experiment? Well, let's uh, begin by saying it was the United States Public Health Service study conducted in Tuskegee, not the Tuskegee syphilis study. Uh, it was the government that conducted this study. It was non therapeutic, which means that they were not trying to treat the men. Uh, and so uh, let's get that straight from the beginning, though. But they, I think what's most important is that people understand what actually happened. Uh, being uh, the former mayor of Tuskegee, being a native of Tuskegee, being the descendant from a person uh, who was a part of that study, it's important for us to make it clear that that the COVID-19 virus and vaccination program is very different from Tuskegee. That's the first thing. And, and Dr. Tuxon was correct. The men were not treated when penicillin in 1946, 1947 was created and known to be an effective treatment for syphilis. They were not treated. And so you, using Tuskegee as a reason not to get the vaccine, in a very real way, you are doing to yourself or we are doing to ourselves the same thing that the federal government did to my uncle, my, my cousin, and been my neighbors. So, Reed, we're looking at this campaign right now, and, and it's, it's well done. Uh, I, I love it, to tell you the truth. But the question is, will it work? Well, it will work for many people, those who are willing to listen. I think the compelling narrative of these black men and women who are themselves vaccinated and who want you to know that, who are bringing these uh, men who are generally faceless and who now have a narrative. We're seeing pictures of their uh, of them being married, of them uh, uh, engaging in, in, in normal events, humanizing these people. Will will go a long way. So I think it'll be it'll be very significant. Will it reach everybody? No. We are still so many of us for so many legitimate reasons. Dale, angry. We're angry at the way we've been treated in America historically, and we're angry the way we're treated today. So there are some that will not be able to go past this. But I'm hoping that we will get enough people who will get past this, so that they will be freed to go beyond their hurt and anger to being self-preserving, and not just self-preserving, Dell. We had to realize that we are still a segregated nation, very much. Black people spend time with other black people overwhelmingly. 
So if we don't protect ourselves, we don't protect the rest of us. We as a people are in this together. We've got to get past the anger, the hurt and the pain and start to look at how do we survive as a people. Jose, I'm going to call an audible uh, to you and the director. We have that that ad uh, spot. Can we play 30 seconds of it with the sound up just so our audience can see what we're talking about? Uh, you can tell me yes or no, or you can play it right now. My grandfathers have been a part of that study. My roots in environmental health come from my great grandfathers. They were sharecroppers. And then later they were able to own land for their family for generations to come. My ancestors' connection to the land has given me a strong care for our environment and how that environment influences human health. I am a fierce advocate for equitable treatment for all. The ways in which COVID-19 ravaged black So, Mayor Neal, I'll ask you the same yeah. question that I just asked Dr. Tuxin. Will it work? Well, we are hopeful uh, that it will. And we believe that not only does the creator prepare the speaker, he simultaneously prepares the listeners. The only thing we uh, can do is tell the truth, uh, to be uh, honest and, and genuine in our appeal uh, to people. We're, we're literally, literally uh, trying to save our own lives. We recognize uh, the devastation of this uh, Delta variant and the COVID-19 uh, and how it has ravished uh, many of our communities. And we recognize that if we don't do anything differently, then it will continue to assault us. And so we are being very public uh, and in promoting our protection. I am uh, vaccinated. All of my family uh, is vaccinated. Uh, Tuskegee right now lead the state of Alabama in vaccination. And so what we're saying is, is don't just go by what I say, go by what I do. More is caught than is taught. People learn best by precept and example. And you can't teach what you don't know and you can't leave where you don't go. We are going forth to tell you unequivocally, we want you to live and we don't want you to die because of a lie, because of the disinformation about Tuskegee. Tuskegee recognize the hurt. Tuskegee recognized the distrust. That's, we, we recognize that. We're not trying to minimize that. But this COVID-19 is a deadly condition for our people and we must get vaccinated. And that's our message to the world. And I will add nothing to that because what do they say in church? Amen. Dr. Reed Tuxen and also the former mayor of Tuskegee, Alabama, Omar Neal, both of you, thanks for being with us.